and yes i'm gonna do one of the scariest things that a pack opening channel like mine will ever have to do and that is i'm gonna open the last of my vivid voltage loose packs everything else i have in vivid voltage is sealed so i could really be depleting my my stash right now and if i don't get anything good um just knowing that i could have sold all this right here for so much six dollars a pack uh or maybe some people might even buy it for seven because there's absolutely no inventory right now nothing there's there's like nothing out there people that are buying are either saving or reselling it at uh, way too high of a price so uh yeah let's go ahead and open these the chase for pikachu is too real but i do it for the channel and i will do it for you guys and i will do it for the big big pikachu fire energy zabriska the russian zebra dustclops beauty on the street tanamo milkery meowt Chanko and Blitzel hit on top man. Oh, I, I didn't even see Bay back there. I had no idea Bay was back there. My first time seeing it. And we have a Quaxia. Quaxia. Would you like a snack, Quaxia? All the pack openings going well, Quaxia. Charmanda. We gotta. How many different ways can we say Charmander? Charmander, Charmanda, Charmander, Char, Charmander. Okay, I'll stop. Joltik, don't ever do this with your fingers. Mode Ray, Trubbish. Oh, I didn't do the card trick. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Who does the card trick halfway through the the opening? Hit on top again. We have Crocker Rock, Trubbish, and. Yes! One of my favorite cards. Zarud. Zarud is back in my life. Nice. First pull is probably my favorite Pokemon from this set. Mr. Zarud Sandstorm. So, stores have been dry. This has been... Uh, this has been a common theme for you know several weeks now I haven't visited my local game stores just because I, I'm pretty sure anything that gets there is bought up right away people are already waiting just like I used to do I used to know when the shipments would come in I talked to the owners they tell me when to come in so I would come in you know maybe a couple hours after they get their shipment and the stuff is gone <laughs> so now I'm just buying a lot of singles and uh, trying to invest that way and uh, flip a few cards Originally, I just wanted to do sealed product. I will be going to some distributors and talking to them this week. Not actually going to them, but you know, reaching out. So hopefully I can d develop something and uh, get some sealed product in. But for now, we're opening our last remaining Vivid Voltage. I did win a booster box in an, in an auction. Oh, nice Jolteon for $175 with $10 shipping, $185 for a Vivid Voltage booster box. Do you think that was a good deal? Um, from what from what I see, Vivid Voltage boxes are selling for over $200 right now. So I thought it was good. I think it was just one of those hidden gems inside an auction on, on in a Facebook group. And just there's probably nobody looking at it. Or the people that were bidding were only bidding up to like 160, 165. So I was like, man, I'll just add it, put it up to 175, make sure nobody takes it. And uh, a day later, I got it. And there's a different dynamic from uh, buying stuff on eBay and buying stuff on Facebook. Like on Facebook, you can see who you're buying from. You see their faces, you see their names, and it's less, it's less disguised, I guess. Um, and you can see if they have like a good history or you, you can kind of tell right they, a, bad, a scammer can go viral right away because I've seen that people have called out scammers and 
like posted them in other groups so to, to 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 warn people to stay away which is great man i waited all that time for a sheninja okay so far only one pull not even a rare hollow yet i think i saw black outline so we got something good here fire energy is always good heroes metal the metal uh plant Puchiana is waiting for you right there, waiting to test that pullout game. Rock Ruff, what is my pullout game gonna be like today? And nice, we have a Steelix. Let's leave you up too. All right, put you right there. Oh, we saw the white code. Something good's coming. One, two, three, four. All right, is this when we get in a roll? Are we gonna get on a hot streak now? Alistair, I just pulled a full art Alistair, which I'm happy about. Any full art trainer is a good pull. We'll bet. I'm starting to see that uh, like full art Pokemon is not, are not as popular as full art trainers now because they just don't have that same effect of, oh, nice Regirock. They don't have that same effect. It's just not the same. Because these Pokemon cards, modern Pokemon cards, ultra modern Pokemon cards are so everywhere. You can buy these Zeruds and, and Steelixes for a dollar if you look hard enough. Um, so there's just not that appeal. But when it comes to the full art, full art trainers, competition is pretty tough right now. You really have to jump on it when you see available cards. And I haven't, I haven't put much thought into this video. I'm just kind of talking. Uh, and I'm just telling you what I've been doing in the Pokemon world. Just learning about um, grading. I'm going to send my first batch of cards in. Ooh, very soon. I pull Xerneas so much. Every single opening. If you watch my videos, you will see Xerneas in every Vivid Voltage opening. I'm surprised I haven't pulled a Raikou yet. But that may happen still. <laughs> yeah, I've been learning about grading. I didn't want to touch that side of things because, you know, I'm, I'm more about like quick sales. I'm more about just like getting product in and out, hence why I wanted sealed product. Not really like flipping singles. I haven't sold much. I don't even sell my singles. Only if someone sees my collection and they ask me. I haven't advertised my, my stuff at all. Execute. Chat thought. And, ooh, nice. Tudo Reverse and a Fortress. I seem to pull this guy a lot too. We'll probably see a few more of him. Or her. Could be a lady. It is a ladybug, so it could be a uh, Orbeetle her. Or Orbeater. Or Orbeetle her. Alright, I'll stop. Cramorant. Rock Rough. With that foot in the ear. Don't want to hear you right now. Stick my foot in my ear. Did I forget to do a card trick? And we have a bonnet. Okay. This is for my love. All right. The so rude sandstorm. You gotta give me good luck. We gotta get another hit. We're still chasing that chunky chew. Supposedly, it's one of the hardest cards to pull. It's super hard, harder than all the Charizards uh, in modern world. Maybe just as hard as Burning Shadows Charizard? I don't know. I have no idea. But everyone's making it sound really hard to pull. And recently I saw someone talk about the secret rare Mewtwo and Mew from Unified Minds. That was a really hard card to pull and the price is going up really high right now. Uh, and you know they kind of compared it to Pikachu but uh, yeah I don't know I don't know I do have one Unified Minds booster box Oop, I showed it that I want to keep for a long time if possible just one I only have one so I don't plan to open that ever I think if you've been opening cards long enough you realize that um, Chances of making your money back on in a booster box is so low. You really have to just kind of... It, it's all about luck. 
Like, most cards are not even worth that much. It's only really the, the hot chase cards that are worth money. And once you get it, like, once I get the Pikachu, do I want to sell it right away for 400-something dollars? Like, or do I want to savor it and have it for a while? You know, so no matter what, I'm either going to give it up for money and lose my Pikachu, or I'm going to hold on to it, and I lost a lot of money trying to find it. You know, so... That is the other side of the coin that people don't think about. It's really being negative in the money. Uh, you have to be negative in the money to enjoy the cards, it seems like. So it's that, that trade-off that you have to consider. Joltik, Mudbray, Slugma, Whismer. I'm going to execute because supposedly, on a, according to a Facebook picture, I'm a sidekick grass. <laughs> so I'm an executor, I guess. Terrakion. And we have a Perserker. This is probably my least favorite Galarian Pokemon. I don't know. I just don't like Meowth in this kind of light, you know? I like Meowth and Perserker as, like, cute. Cute talking mouse, po I mean, cat Pokemon. But they totally turned him to a badass. It's kind of like, have you ever watched Moana, the Disney movie? It's those uh, little little coconut monsters on, on the ship. Alright, Delmise, Stunfisk, Aromatic Energy, Fanfi, Halloween costume. Easiest Halloween costume in the world. Just be a ghost, put a blanket over you. Puchiena, just waiting for you to pull up. Loudred and... Oh, complete trash. Literally. Literally. So rude. Cue the music, play the song, and make the Pikachu come out. We need you to play the Zerud Sandstorm on the poker flute. Alright. Ooh, thunder. There we go. Lightning energy. Hit on top, man. Whismer. Execute. Wubat. Beldum. Blitz, blitz. And uh, Joltik. Then we have Quagsire. Quagsire. Alright, let me remove this big pile of cards. We have a code card that we're not going to see because we want to be surprised. Let me get an amazing rare, please. Amazing rares are probably the hottest thing that are going to uh, be a good investment in my opinion i think amazing rares are going to test i mean uh, what is it test i was going to say test the times <laughs> what i mean to say is amazing rares are going to stand stand the times i don't know they're going to be they're going to be good for a while i guess jolteon because they're just they're just a specialty inside only a few certain sets so it's uh, pretty cool. And then the Pokemon that they chose for Amazing Rares are also very good Pokemon. Fire, Pinsir Chin, Loudred, Memory Capsule. This is a good card to use. Uh, I've seen some strategies with Memory Capsule and yeah, it just seems nice. Meowth. Moana Meowth. Oh man, we're getting down. We're getting down to the bottom of this pile. And the pulls have been horrendous. <laughs> oh, that's a green one. I saw it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Grass. Ass energy. Come on. Drone. Mudbray. Puchiana. Charmander. Chatot. <gasps> I told you. I told you I'm gonna pull Raikou. I told you I'm gonna pull Raikou. This is my fifth one. Oh, give me a Zamazenta or a Zacian, please. <laughs> uh, I won't complain. That is pretty good. I still take it. Amazing rear for the win. There we go. Zarud. Come on, Zarud. Do it for us. Clob that puss. Dark energy. That went dark really quick. Literally. 
League staff, Charmeleon, Pincer Chin, Club That Puss Again, Electric, Eevee, Hope No Kids Are Watching, Cottony, Quagsire. Am I going to get demonetized or future demonetized? I don't even make money right now. <laughs> oh, another green pack. Another amazing rare pack. Let's go. One, two, three, fizzle. Firemon. Have you guys gotten into Digimon cards? I haven't looked at Digimon cards at all, but I do have good fond memories of Digimon. And I would like to collect some cards. Uh, but, you know, got to focus on one thing at a time. And plus, I hear that the supply is really low. Or the supply is not even here. I don't know. Rumors. Rumors everywhere. I read some comments on Pokemon groups and pages and stuff. And I just see, like, the silliest comments being made. The silliest statements. You know, and it, I understand there are there are some bad apples everywhere, and there are a lot of new players like myself, in in uh, in this in this space. So you know, a lot of funny things are going to be said. But it's just yeah, sifting through all the negativity and the nonsense and the false information. Oh, nice looking Duralu down. I don't think I have this one yet. Cool. Yeah, just sifting through the bad information and, like, you know, price bashing and just people being negative. It takes a toll. It takes a toll. And you just gotta keep going. If you're one of those people that are negative all the time, I mean, uh, it, it'd be nice to kind of light up the room instead of, instead of bring darkness, bring the shadows into a room. And when I say room, that could mean like any social space, any, you know, on, through online too. But it's, it's, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a natural thing that happens in life. Magirna. I know a lot of negative people, but I'd like to keep positive people around me so that we don't like drain each other's energy. I know this is getting, this is getting kind of weird. Uh, but, you know, I believe in that, like. <clears throat> people uh, people emit a certain vibe and when when your vibe is negative all the time like if somebody's showing their co collection and you say that you know those cards are dumb or someone has a certain price they want to sell their stuff at and you just bash it it's you know if you don't like it just leave it it's not that hard imagine if we went throughout life everywhere like out in public in person and you just commented on everything you didn't like I think you would sound very miserable. Shuckle, Dusko, Voltorb, Weedle, Jober. But we can still be friends. Go Goat. Oh, Colossal. This has been the week of Colossal for me. Colossals every day. Or every time I open um, Vivid Voltage. Okay, we're getting down to the last art set. This has been a lackluster opening, but I hope you enjoy what I'm saying. I think that's really the, the premise of this channel anyways. If I was just going to open cards with no dialogue at all, I think it'd be pretty boring. But if you like listening to what I'm saying and watching me fail at my pullout game, then, you know, hit that like button, man. <laughs> it was coming. And subscribe, please. Because my channel is growing a little bit. It's growing slowly. And I noticed I'm not that far behind other YouTube Pokemon YouTubers. I'm not that far behind. Some people are very... I think in the Pokemon space, you don't need a lot of, of subscribers and followers to be considered big. Because the people that like the content, the people that like Pokemon, they're going to be fans, like strong fans. I'd rather have a thousand loyal fans versus you know a million people that just don't care or come and go or they just do it for the hype or do it for the fame you know um charmeleon fairy tynamo i don't know who if you know who pat flynn is pat flynn is a, a person in the youtube space that's been 
doing videos for a long time, Flareon. And he was in the he's in the entrepreneurial space, but he recently started his own Pokemon YouTube channel called uh, Deep Pocket Monsters. And he and he goes deep into Pokemon, so that's hence why he calls it Deep Pocket Monsters. <clears throat> something like that. I don't know if that's the exact name, but Deep Pocket something. And his videos are awesome. But just the production he's able to put into it makes it really interesting and it's different. Uh, I forgot what else my point about him was. He he said something. I watched it. I watched a podcast with him in it, and he was he said some really great stuff. But I just lost my train of thought. I don't know. I don't know, man. This is the end of the day. It's ten thirty at night, and I'm opening Pokemon Drapion. I'm opening Pokemon cards, uh, and just kind of vibing, chilling. Let's let's just take this as a good time to watch and to kind of discuss. I like responding to commenters, whether it's you know good comments or bad comments. I don't really mind. It's really hard to to uh, disrupt my vibe. I kind of just sit back and just kind of take things and. Uh, when good things come, it's like, hey, cool. Uh, you know, I'll give something good back. Zabriska, the Russian zebra. Dusclops, Wilmer, Cottony, Cyclops, Clop that, Clop that puss. Uh, electric. Yes, a Charmeleon reverse hollow. That's a win today. This is considered a win today. <laughs> and we have another Durala down. All right, we got one more chance. We've got one more chance to get something here. Darude Sandstorm, you are the last hope. Oh, it's already going bad. Oh no. Oh no, oh, the sound. Let's go. Oh, I showed it. It's a white energy, it's a white code. Which means we got a hollow in here somewhere. Yes, we're gonna get a Rayquaza, Amazing Rare, and we're gonna get a Pikachu Rainbow Rare. Let's go. Alistair, Cramorant, Nessa, Trubbish, Tynamo. Woo! Oh, two cards. Tailo. No Amazing Rare. Voltorb, though. And. We have. What is that? Take a guess, what is that gonna be? It's a steel Pokemon. Mr. Steel, your girl is an Aegislash. Oh, another Steelix. All right. Steelix, Steelix. I don't mind getting a Steelix. Okay, I ran out of sleeves. I'll leave you right there. Well, uh, why did I do that? I'm gonna pick them up anyways. Let's recap. Tell me what you guys thought. Tell me if you guys like watching my videos. Tell me if you've been you've been watching my videos for a while now or if you're brand new. I do giveaways every week and all you got to do is sign up um, in my giveaway list to, to, to have a chance to win every week. This week we're giving away one pack of Sword and Shield base set which is out of print so I can't I can't really get any more uh, for a good price but we got a drapey on today. Steelix. Steelix with no sleeve. Colossal. I, I I saw my first Colossal fan yesterday, or interacted with my first Colossal Colossal fan. Zarud Sandstorm, my favorite card from Vivid Voltage right now. Duraludon, weirdest looking Pokemon. Magirna, a robot lady Pokemon. Duraludon again. Xerneas, I get every time I open the, these packs. Regirock. Uh, meh. We have Raikou. I pull Raikou every single time. Uh, maybe I should pull out my, all my Raikous and show you guys. Yeah? Let's do it. Check it out. So these are my amazing rares I have so far. Celebi, Jirachi, Raikou, 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 Rayquaza. And Anessa right there, and oh, whoa, it's starting to get, starting to get uh, a little, a little shiny over there. Yeah, and just, you know, just other cards. But I wanted to pull out my amazing rares so far. 
this is what I got. Yeah, and we just added a Raikou to the mix. Look at all those amazing rares. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six Raikous now. Man, if you if you want to buy one or a couple, uh, just let me know. I guess if you're watching my videos, you get first dibs then. Because I'm not going to post this anywhere. Yeah, I've got a bunch. Not selling the not not selling the Rayquaza though. That's my only one, but I got extra Ray, Raikus. <laughs> apparently, I wish you could re I could replace them. Well, I'll trade them for Zamazentas and Zacians if you have any extra. Yeah, how about that? That would be awesome. All right, cool. Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for watching this one. Make sure to like and subscribe. Support my channel. Let it grow. This does take time. I do this on my time my downtime. Uh, most of the time it's like 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning when I can film and edit so yeah effort is being put in to, to provide content so thanks for watching peace